You know that very frustrating feeling when after hours of procrastination you finally start getting work done from home and then the next thing your phone rings and you feel like you don't really want to answer but you should because it might be something connected to work or an Amazon package or something important and it turns out to be someone selling health insurance. Fortunately, the state of Israel, in its infinite wisdom, has decided to introduce a Do Not Call Me database loosely modeled after a similar database in the US. The service is called Al Titkasher Alai, which means simply in English, of course, Do Not Call Me, and it is a free service which anybody can register for. I've just registered both of my phone numbers to the service and it was actually really, really easy to do so. Firstly, credit to someone who posted this on Secret Jerusalem because I hadn't heard about it, but it seems like it's relatively new and also that it's being stepped up. The purpose of this database is really twofold. On the first hand, it creates the ability to find spammy businesses who decide to call people anyway after their numbers are registered for this database, they can be fined by the state of Israel. The second thing is that, and this is new, starting from the 1st of January, 2023, so just this month, businesses are supposed to have to check against this database before making marketing calls. So hopefully if you're in this database, it's going to significantly reduce the amount of spam and nuisance calls you receive. I'll put a link to the uh, sign up link in this video description, but it's super easy and only takes a couple of minutes. But the URL just to also read it out is gov.il forward slash H E for Hebrew forward slash service forward slash do not call me with hyphens between those words. Just to make clear, this is an official Israeli government uh, thing. This isn't some kind of a scam like, you know, so definitely register. There are currently three ways to sign up for the service. Firstly, there is a Mokhead, so you can call up the uh, call center and they will take you off. There's also an automatic WhatsApp service, which works really well. And finally, you can choose to complete the form on the website. Just know that whether you're doing this via WhatsApp, the call center or on the website, there is a two-step verification process. So the government will send you a code just to confirm that you indeed um, own this mobile phone number and then you can go and get taken off the list. A couple of Israeli websites have raised questions over whether this is going to work. And just to make clear, I've only signed up for the service myself today. So, so far I can't really confirm whether it's going to reduce the number of spam calls or not, but I figured it couldn't hurt to try. Hope this was helpful. If you have experience with this database in the comments and if you found it helpful or not helpful, I would be quite interested to know. So feel free to leave those. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe for more videos.